just got back in. So here it is. It's the Light Enhancing Duo. You're also getting this dual-ended brush with it, and we'll teach you how to use that. But you've got one cream side, and then you have a powder side here. Um, fabulous for those optical blurring moments that we need, right? We want to soften areas of the face, like fine lines and wrinkles. So um, you're getting both of these home for $35. So it's two products and a double-sided brush. All right. So Christopher, where do we start? We have a cream and we have a powder. Okay. Well, as you can see, the brush has the two sides. Yes. The short side of the brush is for the cream formula. And the longer side brush is for the powder. And cream plus powder equals staying power. And when I'm working on in Hollywood for years, I realized that I really needed to layer a cream and a powder so that I could really create like a staying power, a look that's going to last under the lights for a really long time and with hair whipping around and everything else. And this I actually um, developed when I was doing uh, burlesque with Christina Aguilera. So how you use it is you just take the cream side and you're highlighting with it. So anything that you put it on top of is going to magnify. So of course you want it on cheekbones, right? I mean, cheekbones. Yes, we, we want more, right? We want more. Now what I also, I designed this so that it had versatility. It's a rose gold, so it's very versatile. It could be worn by so many people. And you could use the cream by itself, or you could use the cream and the powder together for really super staying power, or you could just use the powder by itself. Now, may I ask you a question? Um, that technique that you're using right there, would you call that a stipple? This is a stipple. Okay, the reason <laughs> I'm asking is because our fabulous line producer, just in my ear said, is he stippling? Oh my goodness, <laughs> mm -hmm. yes, I am stippling. <laughs> and now I'm going to be brushing. <laughs> I love it. Now See, we're, we're a real team here. Yeah, of course. Now, I'm just <laughs> locking that down. Now, if I just kept it cream, it would be very moist and stuff, and it would look gorgeous, but it might get creasy over, throughout the day and stuff like that, so you have to lock it down. And I'm locking it down with the same exact texture as the cream so that you're not losing any of that shine, especially like, some, like we could put some translucent powder on your face, and, but we're going to lose that shine if we bury that cream that we just put on, the, the light-enhancing cream. So we're just going to set that with the coordinating powder. Then we'll set the rest of the face with the translucent powder. This way ah. we keep our glow. Look at that cheekbone. And also a little dot on the tip of the nose is always good. It lifts the tip of your nose. Doing it. Yep. Yep. Following down, along and then uh, right down the center of the nose like this, just gently. You want to do it narrow so that it narrows the nose. And this reinforces what we just did with the deep triplicity foundation by contouring. Look now we're her. reinforcing it with the highlight. Look at her cute little button nose. Yeah, she's really cute. Oh it's really God. kind of almost <laughs> annoying me. And another thing is, smile. You do that right there. Just brush, like rub it right onto that part of the lip. And that gives you that little cupid's bow. It pulls that lip up and out, you see? Amazing. And after the lipstick is on, then it kind of tones down a little bit. But you could definitely see. And another thing that's really important is to continue, just like we have the same color we match the foundation on the face to the body. We want to make sure that this texture is the same too. So now that we have your face glowing all gorgeous, <gasps> go onto the collarbone. You totally read my mind. Because what this is doing is it's creating the same exact texture. So your, your subconscious, anyone that looks at this, just assumes that it's all real because it's all even. It all makes sense. Right. So they're not seeing it, but they're feeling it. Well, they're, they're just assuming that you're just so summertime chic. Exactly. Oh. And what's more chic than shine? Nothing! <laughs> <laughs> I am going to put a little Ooh. bit of translucent powder just to, to mat her out a little bit because for camera, I want you to understand the lights here make you look more shiny than what you really are. Perfect. So I want you to... Ooh, that's so pretty. Really see what she looks okay, like. Okay, guys, let's just talk about this for a second. Three foundations on her face right now, and she just looks okay. like she has gorgeous, beautiful skin. And then this is the Light Enhancing Duo. You're getting the double-sided nice. brush that comes with it as well. So, of course, you saw Christopher use this on her face and body. So here's how it works. You've got the smaller side here that you're going to use with the cream side, and then you have the larger side of the brush, which you'll use with the powder side there. Christopher makes it so simple for us. He's even added a mirror 
are on here as well. So you can take this on the go. $35 gets it home to you. We've only used two products up until this point. We've used the foundation and now the light enhancing duo. And you can take a look at Allie and see that she is totally embodying already that summertime chic, that gorgeous glow that we try to achieve in the summertime without the sun. Exactly. Right? This is the healthy way to do it. Right. This is the thing that keeps you young forever. The sun will make you look old. Period. <laughs> Period. End of story. Yes. And I'm actually going to put a little bit of the powdered um, light enhancing duo right, look up, in the corner of her eye. Ooh, I like that. Because we, you know, we know that trend of having that little glowy tear duct. Right. But you can use this. You could use the powder. You could use the cream by itself. You could take the cream and put it all over your eyelid if you're at the beach Ooh. with sun protection on. And um, yeah, so it's very, very versatile. You could do so many things with it. And um, there you go. Yeah, that looks great. So, sorry. I I'm going to put it under your eyebrow too I because now I'm feeling greedy. Distracted because I'm just diving in. You're not going to put a light enhancing duo in front of a girl who loves highlight and expect her not to play. You do love your glow, Elise. <laughs> I do love the glow. All right, beauty. So here's the deal. You've got the cream and you've got the powder here. Um, and you're getting the perfect tool with the perfect product okay. here. We did just get more of these in. So I would say run, don't walk to beautyiq.com if you want to go ahead and pick this up today. And Christopher, I just want to um, reiterate to everybody, this is a universal shade. So this would work on all skin tones. Correct? Yes, it's a rose okay. gold. So it, unless you are super, super alabaster, you know, okay. in that case, you would just use uh, a little bit less lighter. Oh, touch. okay, perfect. All right. So, ooh, look at that with the highlight under ooh. the oh, under the brow bone and in the inner corner of the eye. That cheekbone, that cupid's bow, that collarbone. I put some on my shoulder. It's coming along. Just saying. <laughs> okay. That's only two products, beauties. Here we go. We're moving on to the brows. Okay. Brow champion. I love this product. I feel like it has little surprises in it. It is. It this does. is our brow champion. I just want to show everybody real quick. Oh, yeah. You're, Sorry, you're good get, at that. Yeah. I'm just going <laughs> to. <laughs> I'm always so confused. I'm like, ah. Okay. I hope I'm good at it. Yeah, you <laughs> it's are. It's my job. <laughs> so here's the brush that comes in the cap. All right. Then. You open this, you have two shades here. Why? Because our brows are hair, and hair isn't just one color. Yes. But wait, there's more. Then you turn this, and there's your pomade. Yes, and you've got the brunette. I do. It comes only in two shades. Okay. Blonde and brunette, and the reason for that is that your, eyebrow, your eyebrows really frame your eyes, and um, you don't want the frame of anything that's beautiful to upstage what it's framing. So. Um, it's really about creating a, a beautiful muted tone that adds structure and shape without upstaging with warm tones and things like that. And so I only used light topes and dark topes on brows, so I figured why, why busy it up? And if you've got red hair, the blonde works perfect. Perfect. Now which one do you use, Christopher? On me? Yeah. Mm -mm. I'm supposed to use the blonde, but I get a little greedy. I, I am. I'm greedy. But you know what? And it's I use my finger. I'm like this. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, here, you know what? I was only asking because I kind of have a brow wardrobe because sometimes mm. I want mine darker and sometimes I want them a little bit lighter. So I think there's always a reason to have a couple different colors as well. More is more. More is and, more. Uh, yeah, and more I is I think better. that you should definitely have <laughs> everything you want in life, including <laughs> <some>. more eyebrows. <laughs> well, I'm going to show you how I do this, though. The pomade here is not supposed to be a heavy pigmented pomade that you paint in your eyebrows. It's 